we now come to the sixth word. It is finished. Lord, thy word is a lantern unto our feet and a light unto our paths. Lord, if you would notice what has been done amiss, who would be able to abide? Save us from our secret faults and bring us to be worthy of yourself. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of all our hearts be accepted unto thee, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Amen. The sixth way, it is finished. From the Gospel of John, chapter 19, verse 30, we get the following words. When Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. We want to greet you in all your various homes and dwellings at this Good Friday time. And now, as Jesus is on the cross, the work which he has done is now coming to an end. First, we look at the task. The task is that from the very beginnings of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the proclamation has been repent and believe the Gospel for the Kingdom of God has begun to make its own appearances. For 33 years, this task has now come to its own completion. It is the task of bringing people into union with Christ Jesus and fellowship with God the Father in the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lamb of God has now taken away the sin of the world. It is accomplished. It is done. The second thing I want us to look at is the exposition. It is finished, says Jesus, having received the sour wine to quench his thirst after such a decisive battle and fight against the devil and sin of unbelief, the mother of all sins. Finish comes from the Greek root teleo. It spells itself T-E-L-E-O, which means complete, settled if it were an account, fulfilled, accomplished, or just simply done. Perfect tense is tetelest time. And Tetelestai, meaning finished, is spelled as T E T E L E S T A I. Tetelestai would be used in many different spheres of the functions and, and engagements of people, namely by traders in commercial settlement of accounts or debts, and also Tetelestai is settled, paid. Slaves. After completing their task, wives and children and men given house chores, schoolwork or responsibilities to fulfill, eminent people sent for mediation, and I also want to believe at the ultimate retirement as we are about to expire into eternity, we may as well say, Tetelis time, it is settled. It is finished, it is paid. The, the Lord Horatio Nelson at the end of the battle of Trafalgar, lying there to die, hearing the noises of victory, he said, thank you Lord, I have done my duty. Tetel is time. So was President Nelson Kholishata Mandela at his deathbed having fought against apartheid and uniting South African people from different races and tribes, he may have said, take a star. Now let us look quickly at the cross of Christ. There are two ways that Jesus would often use to remind his followers and admirers of the task that lay and laid ahead of him. The centrality of the cross with its agony and pain, loneliness and sorrow. That is the cup to drink and the baptism to be baptized with. 
To be crucified was the most gruesome torture ever to be used and witnessed in the Krayeko Roman world in exerting extreme pain or punishment to the offender before the actual death. Hence the saying, cursed is everyone who is hanged upon the tree. The cup to drink refers to Jesus submitting and accepting wholeheartedly in humility and obedience to the will of the Father, what the Father gives him to do. And the baptism to be baptized with is to be fully immersed in purposely into the task of salvation of humankind. Jesus decided to take the curse and judgment of the cross upon him on our behalf so that we may be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. A cry of victory and obedience is proclaimed and accomplished. This task is now complete, Tetelestai. What does the cross mean to us? In conclusion, it means three things, salvation, sacrifice, and service. Salvation of all mankind is now in place for everyone who wishes to be in Christ and to become a new creation. Sin is forgiven and a new character emerges in each individual who believes. What John declares in the prologue, but to all who did receive him, gave him the power to become children of God, is now fulfilled. The power could be translated, the right, the privilege, or from the Greek word exousia, E-X-O-U-S-I-A, exousia, used for governing authority. We are very privileged to have the power to be able to govern and direct our lives with the purpose God has created us for. We have passed from judgment into life eternal as a result of eternal word whose task of salvation is accomplished and is complete. The second thing is sacrifice. Sacrifice is the offering of life wholly laid down to others, the cup for others. The cup Jesus drank and baptism he has been baptized with is complete. The price is paid and the life has been voluntarily laid down in order for others or his sheep to have life abundantly. This is now complete for every believer to take and live eternally. We do not just carry the symbol of the cross as a necklace, but we are prepared to suffer pain, persecution, and ridicule living for him who died our day. Finally, is the service. Service is a term used in the New Testament for specific kind of help to those in need. Serving at tables and distribution of financial resources, for instance. One of the threefold ministries of the church is deacon derived and developed from Diaconia. Other two offices of ministries are priest, presbyteros, and elder, and episcopos, which is the Greek word for bishop. These are meant for service, not for status, as sometimes seems to be understood for a finished work of salvation to be proclaimed and which Jesus declared on the cross. The word of life are both a responsibility, the word and the life are both a responsibility and great commission for every believer of Jesus Christ and his follower who believes for both mission and ministry as part of the gospel to propagate the finished great work of salvation. Jesus, my dear friends, is the way it made flesh on the cross. Life is the way we live in union with him. God has amazed us all to celebrate the Holy Week and the Triduum to remind us that his tabernacle is human body, not the building. Yet the word can still travel to the homes of St. Albans and parishioners to proclaim the finished work on the cross and to the joy of resurrection life at Easter. Let us therefore then dedicate ourselves afresh to the life of obedience to the love command 
a life of a, a, a risen life of holiness and cheerfulness, covenanted monthly giving of our resources, talents, and time to God. For God loves a cheerful giver. By our work of proclamation and word and dedication, we make a well-ordered world, but by our suffering and commitment, God sanctifies and brings in us a new character. For in his eyes, this finished work is great triumph. Then God will bless us and heal our land and the whole world of the, of the coronavirus and of racism, of greed, and also give us good health as a result of the accomplished and finished work on the cross. Let us pray. Lord, we surrender ourselves wholly to your finished work of love, will and purpose. Fulfill your purpose in each individual of us and all of us at the Alphans and the wider Church of Christ for the proclamation of your gospel and the extension of your kingdom on earth. It is finished. Amen.